The Boston Celtics have won the 2024 NBA Championship, whatever nobody cares. You'd think a team led by two homegrown stars surrounded by likable role players would be much more of a feel-good story around the league. I guess you can never truly underestimate the heart of a person who hates Boston. And in a somewhat surprising turn of events, Jalen Brown was named Finals MVP, or as many NBA fans refer to him, mercifully not Jason Tatum. Speaking of Tatum, a lot of people clowned him for what they felt were unoriginal post-game celebrations. As a Celtics hater, I'm all for the jokes, but as someone whose vocabulary consists mostly of quoting the same four movies, I get it. Monty Williams was dismissed as head coach of the Detroit Pistons. Now, in most cases, losing your job would be considered a bad thing, but being paid $65 million to not coach the Pistons? It's the definition of a win-win. The Thunder and Bulls swapped Alex Caruso and Josh Giddy. It was a win-win trade. OKC gets a guy to better help them compete for a title, while Chicago gets a guy to better help them compete for the play-in tournament. In his introductory press conference as the Lakers' new head coach, JJ Redick explained that he's done podcasting, saying, quote, I'm excommunicated from the content space, which is coincidentally what people say to me every time I say that Jalen Brunson is going to win MVP next season. Reports came out that Malik Monk intends to re-sign with the Kings on a surprisingly team-friendly four-year $78 million deal. I know we're all trying to figure out why Monk took such a discount. The simple answer is that no other franchise can offer what Sacramento can. A giant laser you get to shoot into the sky after wins. Did you see that article basically discrediting Michael Jordan's 1988 Defensive Player of the Year award? I know we like to joke about it and all, but like, in all seriousness, what does this mean for the GOAT debate? <laughs> the Cavs hired Kenny Atkinson to be their new head coach. He'll probably improve the offense and the defense. But if Jared Allen and Karis LeVert have anything to say about it, I'm most excited to see an uptick in those elite bench celebrations. Tune in next week.